How exciting is it to have this day and, and get things rolling? It's really exciting. I've never had this experience um, before, and uh, the Big Four is a really nice little, unique little conference that we have here, and Bonaventures is somebody I'm very familiar with, so I really enjoy watching them. Um, and it's going to be great to coach against Jesse. Jesse's a good friend of mine, and we've known each other over the years, so that should be fun. Um, I'm getting to know a lot of the other teams as far as Buffalo with Coach Jack. Uh, we had a nice battle with them at our place last year. And look how their season turned out. Yeah. So, you know, we're doing things the right way. Hopefully we're going to end up like they did last year. Well, can you, know? you tell me about this year's team and your girls? We have a lot of depth this year. Um, we're really excited about having a bench now. Um, Victoria Rimpato, our best player, is back after having season-ending surgery last year with her labrum. Um, so we're looking forward to her coming back and leading this team, you know, to a lot more wins. Um, your schedule this year looks awesome. You got Maryland to come yep. here. How, how did you manage that? <laughs> they called. That's yeah, what happened. Yeah. I can't say that, you know, there was any inside track. They were looking for some games, and, you know, their coaches, she knows the area pretty well. She coached in the MAC uh, early on in her career, so she wanted to bring her players up to see the falls, but also, you know, get a good game in. So we're excited about the challenge of having them come. It'll be the first time a ranked opponent will be coming to the Gallagher Center, which I think is an exciting thing for the area. Yeah, and then you've got Syracuse, too, defending, you know, runner, national runner up. I can't imagine it's been. I'd, I'd imagine it, it's been a while since the national, a team that played in the national championship game has played against Niagara. Yeah, and you know what? What's really funny is we had the game scheduled way before they made that run um, to the tournament. So um, it, it's interesting. It's going to be fun. We also have Michigan. We're playing uh, at the Chrysler Center, and they went to I think the Sweet 16 of the NIT. So they're a team that's going to be much improved as well. Um, we play Fordham. I mean, the list goes on and on of, of teams that have gone to the postseason in the last couple of years. Did you want to have a tough schedule like that? I wanted to challenge us early just to see kind of where we were at. Um, we feel that the group that played a lot for us last year, combined with having Victoria back, we felt that we could, you know, challenge ourselves a little bit more um, and get ready for MAC play because, you know, that's what really counts. But also leading up to it, you want to measure yourself against some of the best teams in the country. Having Victoria back this year, especially after the things that Sam was able to do, I mean, that's, we got to be excited about that. Very excited. I think that, you know, we shouldn't really skip a beat as far as it comes to post play. I think our guards are still developing. I think Jamie Sherburn had a phenomenal year last year, uh, finishing in the conference third, you know, in assists per game. And, you know, Kaylee, I think she did a really nice job. And now it's going to be about some of the newer guards that we brought in to go along with Corselli to see how we develop that way. All right. And, and you talked about depth, depth a little bit. You didn't really have much left. Last year, how big of a difference does that make? It's going to be huge. Already, we've seen it in practice, um, in the summer workouts, and you know, with the preseason workouts, just having enough people going in, they're fresher. Um, I think right now, knock on wood, we are healthy. Healthy, so I think this could carry us through, you know, well into February, and hopefully, you know, doing some things in March.